Today we're going to be looking at ways that your marketing message can reach more people. So what we're going to be talking about today is whole brain marketing, marketing that resonates with all the parts of the brain of the people that you send your postcards and letters and emails and email blasts and videos to so that you become more memorable. How can you be sure? You engage the thinking styles of everyone's brain. Let me give you, we're going we're to take a quick survey here, just as an example. Now you're going to have to actually do something, so be prepared. You ready? Stand up if you use logic and rationale in your approach to life. All right, you can sit. Stand up if you rely on hunches when you make decisions. And stand up if you like to have a good time. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right. OK. So thank you for doing that. So what you have done is to indicate, to some degree, to a small degree, the part of the brain that you prefer to use. Because each of those sentences or questions that I asked you relates to a specific part of the brain. So I'm going to introduce you to what whole brain thinking is. And then we're going, I'm going to do a big picture first. Then I'm going to walk you through a more step-by-step -step way of understanding the four parts of your brain. And then we're going to apply that information to marketing strategies, specifically to marketing materials. Ned Herman is the man who discovered whole brain thinking. Ned was, because he died a few years ago, Ned was an interesting person. He spent his whole career at General Electric. He was hired out of Cornell as a physicist. But as he went through the years of working at GE, he became a senior manager in charge of all of their training and education. It was a big job. So he would bring in trainers and lecturers and people like that to give workshops and to help people to learn things. And he noticed something interesting. At the end of every one of the presentations, he would give out, you know, those smile sheets, the valuation forms, you know, what did you get out of this, what would you improve, all of that stuff. And he noticed something very curious, that you could have two people in the same room with the same information, same speaker. They would have totally different perspectives about what was said. And he said, how could that be? Everyone's got the same brain, right? No. No. So he went back into research, and he spent the next several years giving EEG tests. What's an EEG test? Electroencephalogram. Well, what is it? It's a brain scan. Right. He did thousands of these. He recruited his friends, his family, his colleagues at GE. He did. He got everybody on board. And he wound up discovering something that was really interesting and different for the scientific community. The results of his research were three. One, one is that he wrote a book called The Creative Brain. Two, he developed something called the Herman Brain Dominance Instrument, which is what you take. It's an online survey that you take to discover how your brain thinks. And the third thing he discovered was a whole brain model, which is very different from what had been accepted as the brain before. Now, I want you to know I'm not a science person. I am so far from a science person. When I heard about this stuff, I thought, this is really cool. <laughs> I like cool things. So how many of you have heard of left brain, right brain? You know, men are from Mars. Women are from anywhere they want to be. The mall. The mall. Women are from the mall. The mall. I like that. OK. But <laughs> how many boxes do you see here? Four. Four. So we have left, right, top, and bottom, not just left and right. And each one of these parts of the brain functions separately, is engaged in different ways, has its own language, its own vocabulary, and it likes to hang around with people that are just like it. What? I'm sorry. Oh. When you say top and bottom, do you mean literally top and bottom, yes. or do you mean front and back? Oh, no, top and bottom. So you have left and right part of your brain, top and okay. bottom. Yeah, literally. But that's a very good question. Yeah. So here's the big picture about whole brain thinking. So that's what he called this, whole brain. Because before, we were really operating on two parts of the brain, just the left and the right. 
So whole brain thinking is using all four parts of your brain in four specialized ways. When you analyze, organize, personalize, and strategize. And I will give, give you more detail on this later. So that's the four things. You have one, two, three, four. All four parts, four different ways of looking at things, reading things. How does it work? One, you identify how you prefer to think. And that would be when you stood up, that's the beginning of identifying how you prefer to think. When you take the assessment, the online assessment, that's the second way. Then, once you identify your thinking style, you understand that you have an instinctive way of thinking. And I'm going to give you a really cool example. To do this, you're going to need a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. Something blank, preferably. Something blank to write on. You all ready? OK. When I say go, I want you to write your first and last names as many times as you can until I say stop. Ready, set, go. Good job. Now I'm going to have you do it again. Only this time you're going to use the other hand. <laughs> Took a while for that to sink in, right? OK. Ready, set, go. No whining. No whining. <laughs> John, remember the guy with no legs and no hands? Do you think you can uh, try harder? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, stop. Wasn't that fun? OK, how many times did you get the first time you did it? Five and a half, eight, six. Also depends on the length of your name. Yeah, right. How many? <laughs> right. So Bob Jones won't take as long as Bob Stephanopoulos. Okay. Second time, how did Two. you do? Two. 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 Two and a half. One and a half. You have a long name? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Now, what did you have to do the second time that you did not have to do the first time? Pay attention. <laughs> you have to pay attention. What else? Think about it. You have to think about it. Why did you have to think about it? Not it's not what? It's not instinctive. It's not instinctive. It's not natural. You are, you are automatically programmed from the time you were born to be left or right-handed. You're also programmed from the time you were born to prefer to use one, two, three, or four of the quadrants of your brain preferentially compared to others. You have dominance and you have recessive. Okay, So it's instinctive. So sometimes when you get up in the morning and you're talking to someone and you're saying, oh my god, what in the world are they thinking? They're just on a different brain path than you. You know, Most people do not get up in the morning thinking, how can I drive you crazy? Although, no. So then you want to apply whole brain thinking, which I'll show you how to do, to the way you market, sell, network, brand, communicate, everything. Everything. What do you think about that so far? Different? I like it. You like it? I, I clearly know. I don't think anyone is one. I, I think we're combinations. I will show you some statistics in a moment. That's a good point. Actually, everybody has all four. Unless you're, if you, if you have a pulse, <laughs> you have all four quadrants. But we don't all use them in the same way to the same extent. OK. Now, this is something that. Uh, Somebody provided for me. It's I, I did I didn't want to uh, right. Okay. So when you look at this, I'm not asking. You know, we don't make value judgments. This is purely objective comments. So you could see. So I did a little. I put an extra picture in. I put in some bullets. Um, I a little space in there and just changed some of the verbiage. And I added words. I added words like. What is in your future D quadrant? Because there wasn't any D quadrant before. Foreclosed home in your future. Um, the list is really free. OK, so I, a great benefit to you. That's C quadrant. Contact Lisa. Contact Lisa. That's kind of personal. That's kind of personal. If you want people to go from looking at something to the next step, you want them all, you want everybody to have a shot. And the only way to get a shot, even, even if puppies are different from tax, you want to have all four quadrants. Because they are I don't know. engineers or whatever. I don't think 
right. to the seven percent that you see <laughs> that aren't with pets. You know, maybe that analytical outside of the, the parameters of their job or whatever like that. So mm -hmm. like you're saying, it may be a totally different quadrant, so you're appealing to them in a different structure like that. Yeah, so well, you are a tax consultant, so you suddenly your new advertising appeals to artists. You get a hundred clients you can't stand because they don't understand. <laughs> and you're going to turn away that business. Why? <laughs> I don't think so. You can call the herd after you have a herd. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Okay, you're going to need this scorecard that you filled out for me earlier. Okay, we're going to talk about ROI in a very different way from, from, a way from how you probably heard it before. Okay, this was the scorecard that you filled out and I asked you to check off eight things, just eight things that would be most important and of most interest to you when you are reading the stuff that comes across your desk where people are trying to get you to buy or to at least call, pick up the phone and call as a prospect, right? Okay, so you, you all did your eight checks? Easy. <laughs> so, this is your brain on drugs. No, this is your brain. And it says when you are reading marketing materials, what are you looking for? Now, there are, you might want to count up how many you have in each quadrant. You can or cannot, it's up to you. Um, some people have a real strong, you know, there's a clustering in, a, in certain quadrants, others are. May not be, may not be. So did, what did you learn about yourself in this? What? I, I'm, I'm surprised. I came out to be a C. I, that was like the least one I thought. You would have thought? OK. Hmm. So the reason this is important for you to know is that when you are developing, I mean, Mira talked about, and you all did, talked about many ways to do different ways to market today. You are going to be slanting what, the way you market based on this. Now, this is a partial survey, just like when you were standing up. That's a partial survey. But this is important information because your profile, whatever your brain profile is, is unless your whole brain is going to be slanted or tilted one way or another. And that's going to affect the way you market. This is Mira's uh, newsletter from June. He did a really good job with this. You didn't know I was going to. I, I decided. Oh, I, I, I found this this morning. I went, whoa, this is really pretty cool. So this keeps our. This is a right brain kind of thing. The the uh, A quadrant says, bump, bump, bump. This is what's going to be covered. I don't have to read anything if I don't want to. I can just go to that page. Here's a nice little cartoon. Makes people happy. A Kennedy style workout. Here's somebody you know like lounging. Um, here's lots of detail. But the detail is broken up in paragraphs, so it's really easy to read. Same thing. Now, this is a little bit, probably a little dense here. But for the most part, there's lists and there's bullets. There's something for everybody in here. Nice job, Mira. I'll take it even though it's Jim Palmer's. Jim Palmer's. Now, if you gave it to me, I'd make a few changes, but I don't want to get, you know. That's probably the things I did to change. <laughs> She put it back. Uh, yeah, I'd put, yeah, absolutely. OK. Um, so you understand what I'm saying here? Put in a little, because when people call you and they say, I read your ad or I got your thing and I'm interested, you start to listen to their language over the phone. And you want, oh, they want numbers. Oh, they want a connection. You'll be able to hear the words. And you go right to that part of their brain. And that's how you start to sell. It takes a little practice. This is not personality, remember. It's just brain. So everything you do will be more successful when it is whole brain. Thank you very much. Thank you.